Welcome back to the spotlight. Not all careers in law enforcement require a badge and a gun. Take the scientists at the Bellevue Police Crime Lab. They are using state of the art gear to solve crimes across the Pacific Northwest. It's not as glamorous as maybe people on the TV show. When people ask me what we actually do for a living, we dig through garbage all day. The evidence that comes in is literally garbage. It's stuff with beer cans, uh, cigarette butts, paper, you know, wadded up paper, you know, bloody shirts, bloody towels, things like that. And we dig through all that stuff just looking for any evidence that may help the investigator in their investigation. This is a high vacuum chamber. This chamber up here is one inch thick stainless steel. There's a series of pumps down here that can evacuate the air, all the molecules out of this chamber to equivalent of one millionth of an atmosphere. So what we do then is we hang our exhibits up here, anything evidence that we're gonna process. And then these are thermal evaporation units. And what we do is we use different metals. We use gold, silver, zinc, copper, tin, aluminum. We can heat those metals up past their uh, boiling point. They go from a solid to a gas. When they hit the evidence, they turn back into a solid. So what happens if there's any evidence on there like fingerprints or trace evidence, that acts as like a barrier preventing the metals from adhering. And then we get the fingerprint image. So then what we would do is we could photograph these images. They're actually reverse images. So then we use software, we can use Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Lightroom, then we can process these images. So then we can get them ready to search into an automated fingerprint identification system. We can put all types of materials in here, but specifically the uh, most we use this for is things that fall between the porous and non-porous. So they can be either one. We can actually do fabrics in here. If the weave of the fabric is tight enough, we can get identifiable fingerprints. But a lot of times what we do is we look for grab marks and then we get those grab marks and then we can uh, target those areas for DNA collection. The other thing too is uh, putting sh uh, shell casings from firearms and so forth in there. And the same thing, if we don't get a fingerprint image that's good enough to identify, but then we can target that area for DNA collection. We use this in our normal coursework from motor vehicle, prowl, all the way up to homicide. Bellevue purchased that vacuum metal deposition chamber with a federal grant. And so far it's been used to solve crimes both here locally and in Oregon, Idaho, and as far away as New Hampshire.